mga kababayan. Kung gusto nyo nang umuwi ng Pilipinas at hindi nyo alam kung paano ang mag-register sa Red Cross, ito po ang bagong update or bagong ECIF Philippine Red Cross COVID-19 platform. So, let's watch this. Okay, so punta kayo sa Google at itype lang ninyo ang Philippine Red Cross. So, ito yung platform na nakikita ninyo dito. Ito yung bagong update ng Philippine Red Cross COVID-19 platform. Unlike the first one before na kung clinic na natin, is automatically makikita na natin ang registration form. But for here, the, uh, the new one update, pero hindi natin makikita agad. Kung nakikita natin sa, dun sa my red level, yung RTC, par, CPR, blah, 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 those are not Ah, uh, those are not OFW. Kung OFW ka at mag-registered ka at dahil pa uwi ka ng Pilipinas, so yung DAS Labs, CIF forms, yan ang i-click natin para tayo ay mag-registered. So yung DAS Labs, track your specimen, hindi po yan. Doon lang tayo sa DAS Labs, CIF form. Okay, ito ang registration form. Kung nakikita natin, meron dyan na lalabas is RT-CPR swap test. Bali, dalawa yan. Click mo lang yung arrow doon sa baba and uh, piliin mo lang yung RT-CPR swap test. At meron ding option or reason for testing. Ayan, kung ilalagay mo, may mga choices din doon. Of course, arriving passenger. So, ganyan po. And next... Okay po mga kabayan, huwag tayong magkakamali yung details natin. Kailangan tama ang ating ikikiin. Ito yung personal details ng passengers. So ikaw, ang pangalan mo, yung middle name mo, of course yung birthday, sex, civil status, nationality, of course we are Filipino. Then email address na active po yung nagagamit po natin ha. At saka emergency contact name of person. So, yung anak kong ilagay ko or kahit sino ilagay ninyo. And of course, ang contact number niya. Diyan sa box naman dyan, kung ikaw ay member ng indigenous group or yung tribu na tinatawag, i-click po natin. Kung hindi naman, live lang po. Next po is patient vaccination record. Uh, Balin, nilib ko po yan. So, patient employment formation. Basahin lang po natin yan. Alam po natin na sasagutan natin yan. Occupation is kung uh, ano yung department in work. Uh, in work. O, of course, we are OFW. Employer's name mo. Employment address mo. Kung saan ka nakatira with your amo. Then, work industry. A land base. Yung ganyan. Then, click. Don't forget to click the I am a returning OFW. Yan po. Okay, next po is patient profile photos. So, ito is optional lang din. Kung gusto mong lagyan, okay lang po. Pero kung ayaw mong lagyan, it's up to you because it's optional lang naman to. Okay, so next page po tayo is identity document. So, ito po is, uh, i-click nyo lang ang arrow. Then, piliin ninyo driver's license kung anong meron kayong valid ID dyan o FW ID, others, pag-ibig, passport, field health ID, postal ID, or PRC. Yan po, mamili lang po kayo kung alin dyan ang available na valid ID ninyo. So, of course, we are OFW, so I prefer also na nilagay ko ang aking passport. Okay, I choose passport as my identity or uh, my valid ID. So, ayan po, yan ang ilalagay ninyo at ilagay din ang photo ng iyong passport. Kailangan clear ang paglagay uh, ninyo. So, ang first na gawin ninyo is picture nyo muna yung passport ninyo and just uh, search from the gallery then upload. So, ganyan lang po, kadali. Next page po tayo. So, ito is all optional PhilHealth ID. Kung may PhilHealth ID kayo at gusto yung ilagay, it's okay po. At kung PWD naman kayo, is pwede rin yung ilagay dyan. I-click lang ninyo. I am a person with this a disability. So, current address na ang next. Next po is our current address kung saan tayo uuwi, saan tayo nakatira. So, for sure naman po, basahin lang natin yan. May mga option naman kung saan region po kayo. Ako is region 2, Cagayan Valley. So, yan po. Basahin lang ninyo at sundan po ang instruction dyan. Okay, so next po. Okay, next po is permanent address. Kung same lang po ang address ninyo sa first one na address na nilagay ninyo, is pwede lang i-tick lang ninyo ang box doon sa same as previous address. Okay, next, our phone number. So, since wala pa akong Pilipinas na number, ang nilagay ko is number ng aking anak. Then, eh, click nyo lang yung arrow. Mamili kayong yung telephone, landline, or 
phone number or handphone yun or mobile so yan po mobile po ang nilagay ko and travel details ninyo i am traveling do ilagay ninyo diyan ang origin kung saan kayo nang galing sa akin singapore and destination is manila at saka yung flight number natin kailangan din natin indicate and kung anong uh, airlines ang sakyan mo kung Paul, Cebu or Singapore Airlines. So ayan po. And of course, next date and time of travel. So yun ilalagay din niyo sa yung travel details. Etong part na to is kayang-kaya natin sagutin naman of course, case suspect case. Uh, probate case, confirm case, mga ganyan. Yung patient clinical record naman, I am a hospital patient. Kung patient po kayo, I am isolating at home, I am in quarantine, and patient has died, somebody like that, something like that, I should say. So, uh, kung walang isa sa kanila dyan, so just leave it po. This page naman po is quarantine facility. So, hindi pa natin alam kung saan tayong, kung anong hotel tayo mag-stay. So, may may nakalagay po doon na may mga options na hotels, pangalan ng mga hotels, or kung wala pa naman is none or uh, others. Others siya tang nilagay ko. So, after that, i-click lang yung create from the test tacos manual. Ayun po, i-click lang ninyo doon sa baba. Once na nasa meet na ninyo ang inyong application form is meron na kayong marireceive na barcode. So, ito po is kailangan kasi natin ang papakita pag mag-check-in po tayo, lalo na dito po sa Singapore, eh, hinahanapan po tayo ng barcode kung tayo ay naka-registered sa Red Cross. So, ayan. And aside from that, makaka-receive din po kayo ng email from Philippine Red Cross. Hello, Frank Vitas Manuel. You registered your patient information at Philippine Red Cross. So, ito po, mag email po si Philippine Red Cross sa inyo after your registration. So, ayan po, mga kababayan, ganyan lang po kadali ang pag-register ng Red Cross through, through online. So, sana po nakatulong po ako sa inyo. Pauwi na rin po kasi ako. So, ito na yan yung ginawa ko. Pwede kayong mag-register 3 days before your flight sa Philippine Red Cross COVID-19 platform. Punta lang po kayo sa Google. Recap lang to ha. Google, type lang ninyo ang Philippine Red Cross. Then, just follow as I've said before. Uh, iba na yung mukha ng Philippine Red Cross COVID-19 platform kasi na-update na po. Before, once na-click natin before, makikita na natin agad ang registration form. So, ngayon is meron pong mga ganito na lalabas. As I've said, dun tayo sa Dustlove CIF form. So, sundan lang po ang ating tutorial. Thank you so much guys for watching. Sana nag-enjoy po kayo and please do subscribe to my channel. Share this information with your friends as well. Mga kapo nating OFW na pa-uwi na. Thank you so much guys. God bless and keep safe everyone. This is Wang AJ.